Hello, welcome to Princess the Tutor. In this video, Biology, Complicant Biology Paper 1, 2018. I'm going on to answer questions 1 to 10. So, question 1 says, diagram below, the diagram shows a light microscope. So, we know what a microscope does. It only gives a detailed uh, inside of an object. Which labeled part supports the objective lens and is rotated to bring the lens of the desired magnification into the position? So you need to know that this here on top here, that's the eyepiece. This is the objective lens. Even this one is the objective lens. This is the mirror or this is the stage. The stage, that's why you put the, the specimen. A mirror, it, it reflects light. So light will pass there up to where your eye is. Now this is where you put your eye. So, Which part supports the objective lens and is rotated? So the answer is B. Since I said this is objective lens, these are two objective lenses. So this part here is what is rotated now. Question two says, the diagram shows a cell as seen under an electronic microscope. What type of cell is shown? Now look at this cell. What type is of cell is this? One, it has got two, membranes that clarify for a cell so we have two membranes the cell mem the cell and the cell membrane type of cell of course this will be a plant cell the reason being you can say there are two membranes outside so you have the cell and the cell membrane so it's a plant cell it's a plant cell it's a plant cell and because the cell is visible this is a cell it's visible we can see it so the answer for that is d question three says the diagram shows freshly cut potatoes one chip suspended in liquid m and another suspended in liquid n so this at the beginning then after two hours so you can see that liquid m liquid n this is a potato that's a potato in liquid m is that the potato has curved or in liquid m in liquid N, the potato has remained the same. Which one of the following collectively identifies liquid M and liquid N? So look at this properly. Liquid, now in biology, we have three types of solution. We have isotonic, whose concentration is equal with the concentration inside the cell. Hypertonic, a solution whose concentration is higher than that of a cell cytoplasm. Then you have hypo. A solution, a solution whose concentration is less or lower than the concentration of the cell cytoplasm. Now, liquid N, nothing changed. So, we will say the, the concentration of the potato and that of liquid N, they are equal. Therefore, liquid N is an isotonic solution. And an example of an isotonic solution is pure water. Then, for this one, look at it, it has reduced in, in, in size. So for something to reduce in size, that means it was losing water into the what? Into, into the solution. So the potato was losing water where? into the solution. That means this solution is more concentrated than this concentration in the cytoplasm of the, of the freshly potato. That means liquid M is more concentrated. So that is concentrated sugar solution. The answer is A. Question 5, which combination of chemical elements is present in a protein molecule? So in a protein molecule, this one I'll just go down, dialect. We have carbon, we have hydrogen, we have oxygen, we also have ox uh, nitrogen, sorry, and oxygen. So the answer is D. Question 6 says, which of the following people need a lot of carbohydrates in their diet? Remember, remember carbohydrates, they provide energy. So which one among these needs a lot of energy? Is it a lactating mother? A mother who's breastfeeding, or a Maria patient, or a manual worker, or a sedentary worker. A manual worker, of course, needs more of energy to do the work. So it's the manual worker. Which of the following collectively shows a plant nutrient and its function? We have calcium, formation of medulla amina, nitrogen, activation of enzymes, potassium, formation of ATP and ADP. Sulfur forms part of the chlorophyll molecule. The answer is A. Calcium forms part of the Middle lamina. So question seven, the answer is A. So make sure you read more notes on the function of plant nutrients. 
Question 8 says, the diagram shows the internal structure of the leaf, A, B, C, and D. In which labeled cells, in which labeled cells is the rate of photosynthesis highest on a sunny day? Now, all these A, B, C labeled photosynthesis is able to take place, but which one has the higher rate of photosynthesis on a sunny day? Of course, are these what you call the parasite cells. A parasite cell has got a rectangular base uh, shape, and the same way they stand like this perpendicular, they have a lot of chloroplast. Also, chloroplast contains a lot of a lot of chlorophyll, which enables them to carry a lot of photosynthesis in them. So the answer is these are parasite cells. All these round like these are what we call spongy mesophyll cells. What type of intuition is carried out by a rhizopus? Now, a rhizopus is a type of organism that feeds on another organism in order to obtain food. And that type of nutrition is known as saprophytic nutrition. It's known as saprophytic nutrition. So the answer is D. The diagram shows a scar of a herbivore. What type of teeth? Are represented by P and Q. Now look at P and Q. This is a, a herbivore is an animal or an organism that feeds on grass only. And from the look of things, you can tell that this is for a gut. Now P, the the teeth just in flat there of the jaw. Here, these are the canines. Then these ones which are here, these ones which are here, those are, the, are, are, the, are what we call the canines, sorry, the canines, sorry, the incisors. So here, they are the canine. So just a minute, let me just lab this. We are saying here, the ones in front here, that the incisors, incisors, while this here, we don't have anyone, if we had a sharp tooth like this, we could have called it, called it a canine, but we don't have anything like this. So all what we have are these with the flat surfaces, and the first three, we call them premolars, and the answer is C. So thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, I'm previously tutor, don't forget always to read and study.